This video is brought to you by Sailrite. In this video, we'll be showing you how to sew up your very own roll-up knee pad. This is an easy to sew project and results in a useful pad that will protect your knees from the hard work of gardening. After your hard work's done, roll up the pad and secure it in place with the elastic. Let's get started and show you how it's done. We'll be making a very small knee pad here. We'll start out with a fabric blank that is 12 inches by 18 inches. And we're using a yardstick here to measure on our Sunbrella fabric. Sunbrella fabric is great for outdoor use. However, if you choose to use a less expensive fabric, Sayerat recommends Picasso cotton single fill duck fabric, which is very inexpensive. We'll just use scissors to cut the fabric, no reason to use a hot knife. We're going to fold it in half along its longest side. Next, we'll cut two strips of elastic that are eight to 10 inches in length. We'll fold each one of those strips in half and then place it on the inside of our assembly that we folded in half. These will be used to secure the knee pad when it's rolled up. Then we'll take that flap of material that we folded earlier and fold it directly over those loops. We'll take it to the sewing machine and sew across that end that has the elastic embedded in it. We'll start sewing a half inch from that edge, the opened edge. Our stitch is approximately a quarter inch from the edge of the fabric and we'll sew right through the elastic all the way to the folded edge. And we'll reverse there to lock our stitch in place just as we reversed at the beginning to lock our stitch in place. Here you can sew all the way to the folded edge. We're using a V69 white polyester thread, which is great for this type of project and sews easily in most home sewing machines. For your information, we're using the Sayerite Ultrafeed LS1 sewing machine. Now when we get to the open end, we want to stop a half inch short of that edge so that we can create a hem later on. Do some reversing there. Next, we'll insert our hand inside the open end and turn the bag so that it's right side out. The elastic is now on the outside of the bag. Be sure to insert your fingers in the corners to push the corners out. With a pencil and a ruler, draw a series of lines parallel to the fold and one and a half inches apart for the length of the pad. We'll top stitch these lines creating hollow portions or sometimes referred to as channeling. These lightly drawn pencil lines will be our reference for sewing. We'll sew directly over top of these pencil lines. We'll start sewing from the folded edge right on top of that edge, reversing to lock our stitch in place, and sew all the way to the open edge. We do need to stop a half inch from the opened edge, and be sure to reverse there as well to lock your stitch in place. We'll follow this same procedure for every one of those lines that we drew on top of the fabric to create channels. After we're done, we'll trim our excess threads from the project. You can fill each one of these channels with buckwheat hulls or flaxseed or even rice. We're going to use flaxseed. We found it was easiest to use a styrofoam cup and pour it into each one of the channels. However, a funnel may also be used if you have one on hand, which we did not. You may use a pencil to push any of the seeds down or the rice down into the channels. Be sure the channels are uh, filled almost to the top but leave room for a quarter inch hem. Now fold the open edge over so that it creates approximately a quarter inch hem on both sides. This will give it a finished look. The final step is to take it to the sewing machine and sew across that opened end and the hem we just created to close up the pad and keep the seed or rice from coming out. We'll start right here on the end, reversing to lock the stitch in place, and we'll sew approximately an eighth inch from the folded edge of the fabric. Be careful that the seed or rice does not come out as you're sewing. You may get a little bit of spillage, and that's quite all right. Just try to keep the seed back by keeping your hand uh, over top of the portion that is not yet sewn. Sew all the way to the other edge and reverse. That will seal up the pad and 
keep the seeds or rice from coming out. Using this chart we had at the beginning of the video, we just completed the small roll-up knee pad. You can choose to make a larger one or a size that's completely your own if you choose. Be sure to order all your supplies necessary to build this and other projects from Sayerite. And also check out Sayerite.com for more free videos like this or subscribe to the Sayerite YouTube channel today. It's your loyal patronage to Sayerite that makes these free videos possible. Thanks for your support.